Hey there creepy peeps, my name is Vicky and I like talking about horror all year round. If you also like talking about horror all year round, you should subscribe. So 2023 was a wild year for the horror genre. I think just a wild year in general, like for the film industry. And we got some incredible iconic characters in the movies that we saw this year. So here are my favorite of those horror characters from 2023. First and foremost is Nicolas Cage as Dracula in Renfield. I think this one speaks for itself, but Cage brings his unique over-the-top style to this iconic vampire character, and it just it just suit the character so well. I particularly love how Cage played Drac as this obviously very powerful, very scary vampire, but ultimately kind of just like a lazy monarch making Renfield do all of these like inane and mundane tasks for him. He's a little gaudy, a little extravagant, and it was so cage, and I loved it. I am Dracula. Okay, obviously we're dealing with a little bit more than just narcissism here. Next is Mia Goth as Gabby in Infinity Pool. Mia Goth has quickly become so many people's faves when it comes to like unhinged horror characters. <laughs> Personally, I think Gabby was even more unhinged than Pearl. Or at the very least, like when it came to Pearl, I knew what we were getting into going into that story, so I knew she was going to be unhinged. I wasn't necessarily prepared for what was going on in Infinity Pool. <laughs> and Goth proved she is honestly fucking terrifying. Like that scene, if I was Alexander Skarsgård character in that bus scene, I would have peed myself, shat myself, probably just died from fright. Yeah! Come on! I also can't forget Missy Pyle as Carol in Unseen. I did not know that I needed Missy Pyle playing a deranged Florida woman in my life, but I somehow just feel more fulfilled having seen her play this character. <laughs> she was perfect in this role, even though it was technically a side character, she was an absolute scene stealer. I loved every second she was on screen. The hair, the clothes, the anger issues, it was also iconic. Also accurate too, to anyone who's ever lived in Florida for a significant amount of time, you've definitely seen a woman like this. I felt it was so iconic. I know this movie overall wasn't a lot of people's cup of tea, but I really enjoyed the movie and not just because of Missy Pyle's performance. Let us in, little bitch! Go away! Of course, I have to mention Alyssa Sutherland as Ellie in Evil Dead Rise. I can't imagine it's easy to play a deadite. Like, it looks like a physical role, very physical role. And Sutherland, I think, played by far the coolest deadite in the franchise. <laughs> I especially loved seeing her progression of her deadite character as like the film goes on and she gets more and more brutalized and therefore more terrifying. In her smile, oh my god, like it's gorgeous in any, in any other circumstance. <laughs> but chilling with that deadite makeup, oh my god. Mommy's with the maggots now. And finally, we have to give it up for Amy Donald as Megan in Megan. What an iconic, murderous animatronic. It's it's really everything, like the fit, the uncanny valley face, and the dance moves, of course. Everybody lost their minds over that little dance sequence in the movie. When we had our horror meetup at Halloween Horror Nights Orlando this year, we lucked out one of the nights and was able to see the Megan Horde. It was so fun and everybody was obviously so stoked to see the Megan Horde because she's so iconic. We love her. I also want to mention what I think is the most iconic thing about Megan. I feel like people don't talk about enough because the dance kind of overshadowed it. Her rendition of Bulletproof. <laughs> That was the moment I knew Megan was the horror it girl of the year. I am were there some horror characters that you thought were iconic this year that I missed? Let me know in the comments. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can check out my most anticipated horror movies of 2024 video. Um, just from that video alone, I can tell we're gonna have some more iconic characters in 2024. I'm very excited. And I will see you this Saturday with an extra video this week with some disturbing winter horror recommendations to shake up your family gatherings this holiday. So until then, stay strange. Bye.